But thank you for coming to the channel. And today I just want to dive in on one of the emails that I received from Easy Equities. As you know, if you are watching our videos and also following us, you will know we are using the Easy Equities as the platform that we are using to buy shares or stocks or the platform that we are using to invest. Hence, the reason we always tell you to end, invest, and spend in it. So I got this email that is asking me if I do accept or I do not accept to be part of the right offer. Right? So a uh, basic, you know, and simple way to explain a right offer is just basically when a company offer its existing shareholders to buy uh, their shares at a lower price. Right? So my view, two very important point is it uh, you must be an existing holder and also you will be buying at a lower price. Right? So now the current price of uh, easy equities is 0 0.98 cents. That's basically it's 98 cents. Right? And also the right offer that they have given us is 0 0.81 cents. Right? So basically you will buy at a lower price based on the figures that has been that we have given and also based on what it's currently trading in. Right? But I think for some time and also a few weeks ago or even last week when I checked the price was one rent some change in it and uh, I think we all know at some point this share uh, would have cost you more than three rand in it. Yeah, but otherwise uh, one of the reasons the company has to do a right offer they say basically this is when a company has to raise a capital. Né? So basically when the company needs money then they will have to do a right offer. Né? And then also very important thing to note this might have an effect on the share price that might lead to the share price dropping né? because maybe you will find there are some investors out there who don't understand how does it work and also maybe who will only look at the negative side or the disadvantage part of it né? but anyways you will have to make your own mind and uh, do whatever you think is necessary for you to do né? but basically i'm just trying to break the ice and also just to make you guys understand what, why they did this and the reason behind this and also what might be the possible you know reasons for them to do this man we all are aware that easy equities have given us a report and on that on that report one of the things that they did put there was the fact that they waiting for authorities or regulators in kenya man so they could start doing business in Kenya. Né? So guys, we do understand that the business is growing because now they are considering entering other markets. They have, been, they have entered the Australian market, they have entered uh, the European market. So now they, they are considering growing and branching into the African continent, né? which is the same thing if you look at South African companies like our ShopRite, MTN have done. Né? MTN is currently on a lot of countries, even including, including you know, Nigeria, Rwanda, Eswatini, and so on and so forth. You will find EMTN there. So that's a company, a South African company, that is also doing well in the African continent. So for me personally, I believe Easy Equities trying to branch into countries like Kenya, it is a good thing and also will be beneficial at a later stage if you are a shareholder. Né? So the other very important point is that uh, the company uh, one of the reasons they might be doing this is that uh, they want to fund new adventures né? or maybe they consider in investing on new projects. Mind you, again, we go back to a report. Né? A report did tell us that they are partnering with a Philippines company which is called EG Cash. You understand? So now, if they want to do those things and they want to fund those projects it is necessary for them to try and raise the capital in order for them to pursue these adventures né? so for me that is a good sign because it's a company that's growing it's a company that is investing in new projects and also branching out of south africa you know considering markets outside of east south africa because that is how good and great companies operate né? otherwise we will not have the iPhone in South Africa if iPhone was not a great company. So the fact that they have printed out of the world, they are everywhere in the world. That's what makes them desirable and also that make, that's what makes them a good company. And obviously they have a great product. Yeah. 
So now, any point that I want to touch on is paying off debt. So now, how does that come into play? Eh? We know the stock market has been down from 2021, if I'm not making a mistake. Eh? So now, because it's been down, obviously, people, they have experienced it among losses, you know, uh, and also as a company given the stock market being down and also looking at the hype of our interest rates of which we are waiting for the governor of the South African Reserve Bank to tell us what is going to happen going forward with our interest rates and already there are people and rumors that are saying they might hike our interest rates. You know? I've done a video speaking about our interest rates and I've told you guys if they hiking our interest rate. This have a negative effect on the business simply because now the cost of operating a business here increases. So it increases. So when the cost of operating a business increases, obviously companies will need some cash injection, and hence that is why the Good Group is also considering this option of doing the right offer. Right? So for us as investors and holders, right? so this is basically an opportunity for us to buy the shares at a lower price and also basically what i can say is it's on sale so just consider this as a sale you know? so i hope you guys do find the video informative and also please do drop a comment just to tell me what you think or even you can even add some information that you think might be important uh, given the subject you know? otherwise don't forget to end invest and spend you know there's a reason why you will have to invest your money before you start spending it.